Hello and welcome to another video for Linux Planet. This is the Librem 5 again. There is the logo. And yeah, I'm booting something I haven't booted before. And I hope this will go well. And there you see what it is. This is the initial boot of Mobian for the Librem 5. You guys know Mobian as a PinePhone distribution that's pretty well liked and it's built about ar around Debian testing. And now that Bullseye is going into stable, it's clear that they will switch over to the next testing branch. So they will always try to be a bit more current than basic Debian stable. This image is uh, yesterday's nightly image. So it should be just standard Mobian, uh, pretty current, not too many updates needed. I'm really curious how this is going, because the only Mobian image I tested previously was one of the F2FS images, which was quite old and broke after upgrading, so I hope this won't be the case here. Also, disclosure. I have done many PinePhone videos, and lately they've been Coming fewer, that's because I uh, took on another side project, um, the Pine Talk podcast, which is published on Pine 64's infrastructure. So, yes, I am involved with Pine 64 in some way, uh, but uh, that's not a paid thing, and this is not going to. I'm well, I'm doing my best that this will not cloud my judgment on the Librem 5 or any of the other Linux smartphones I'm using every then and now and that I'll show on videos. And now let's wait. And there we are. This is Mobian. And the default password is 1234. I think, and uh, well, it doesn't seem to find the modem. I inserted a SIM card, but I'm not sure whether that one still works or whether it has been disabled. Oh, <laughs> that's the issue. I turned off that kill switch apparently. So let's see whether it comes on. Uh, so yeah, that looks like 4G is working, which is great. And now let's see whether that there's that welcome visit. So let's try to go through that now. Okay, languages. There are many more to choose from. I think right here. Yeah. So I could, in theory, choose my native German language if I wanted to. And I must say, I'm not going to do that. I'm so used to using English. On these Linux fans, I, I recently tried to use them in German and I was really confused because I like, well, well, this is supposed to be called differently, this menu item and stuff. By the way, translations are a way to uh, help with this whole uh, mobile Linux effort if you're not that technical, so... Uh, go find the repositories of the upstream projects and help them out with translation. I'm really curious whether this is some kind of bug here. Sometimes uh, I figured that the, uh, with the Librem 5 and this uh, Red point signals Wi-Fi module, it's a bit hit and miss and you need to hit and deactivate that kill switch every then and now more than once. But here we go. There's finally the network. Uh my my test network and so let's enter the password, which is the URL to my blog coincidentally. And yeah. So yeah. I'll skip this here in that dialog because I used the settings app. Then I've got these usual choices. I'll uh, really let both of them on, and then you can connect online accounts if you want to. 
But if you're like me and you've got that those passwords only in some kind of uh, password database, uh, then yeah, you can't do it on the first boot, right? Because you don't want to type those 50 characters, 50 random characters in by yourself. So this is uh, the pre-installed software that comes with Mobian. Uh, notably, it's quite a bit more than what's pre-installed on PureOS. It comes with both GNOME Web and Firefox pre-installed. And I'm using GNOME Web now because I'm curious whether they also carry over the patches that PureOS has. Uh, because P in PureOS on the Limroom 5, this uh, GNOME Web Browser has been quite fast in scrolling. Uh, yeah. Now I can't really tell, but this is looking fine, although, yeah, there's some inertia. So it's okay, but I'm really not sure whether that's on the patched version. Wait a moment, let me see. We can maybe tell it from going here. No, no clue. So I would think that's just a regular upstream version of Epiphany here. From what I'm seeing, uh, so yeah, let's start Firefox. <laughs> okay, looks like someone forgot to change and adjust this uh, start page here because this is not postmark OS, this is Mobian. But I'm sure the postmark OS guys are going to love the shout out because they've been putting in the work to make Firefox work great on these uh, phones so that it well adjusts somewhat better and this year is Firefox scrolling in on the Librem 5 which is uh, yeah better than it is on the Pine phone definitely I can for comparison use my good old Arch Linux ARM install here and we'll just compare that in a minute it looks like there are some upgrades and these are quite important I think a new version of Fosh, new version of Lependi and so on so yes I will apply those as soon as possible and yeah that aside uh, so let's go through the apps that we did, didn't see on PureOS earlier so one of them is King's Cross. Now King's Cross is actually the same terminal. They just call it by its uh, name, uh, its upstream name. I really would prefer Mobian to just make it, uh, just call it terminal and give it a normal, normal GNOME terminal icon because like this many people don't really know what it's about. And I've seen tons of questions over the month in the different chats and forums. Well, this Mobian doesn't have a terminal, what can I do? And that's so unnecessary. Then Portfolio is here, that's a file manager, mobile first file manager, written in Python, if I'm not totally wrong, and uh, yeah, that has been developing nicely too. It's really smooth and mobile friendly. It's not really uh, totally full featured, but it has most of the features you would need daily. Then here's the weather app, which also uh, works quite nicely. So yeah, feels like minus six degrees Celsius, and uh, well, that's sadly true. Another one that's not on purest and that feels like a really glaring omission is image viewer 
Now this is uh, a piece of software that you will know under the name Eye of Gnome. Uh, and yeah, it's mobile friendly since uh, its last release and I don't know why it's not pure as. Also, sound recorder is pretty nice. Um, so I will talk now and uh, as you can see I have this microphone off switch on and now that I'm turning it on uh, or have enabled the microphone uh, we see that there's a recording going. Okay, I'm going to save this and uh, we can play this back. Let's jump. I don't know whether you could hear that, but generally uh, it's fine, the microphones are working well. Now, what else can we have a look at to do? Something that I think got adjusted by the Mobian team themselves. That's the GNOME to do app. Um, and you can add your tasks to that. It also syncs nicely with Nextcloud. And uh, it's, uh, well, a very simple app, but quite helpful for task management. One omission uh, generally still is the calendar. This is just an Gnome calendar as it would be on your desktop too. And it's not been uh, mobile optimized at all. So that's something where work really has to happen, which is why I'm glad that it's on uh, position five of the Purism's uh, Fund You App Challenge. Another one not pure and, uh, Prince of MPOS is this one, Lollipop. Now, of course, we don't have a collection here, but uh, yeah, it's a fairly nice music player. I only used it to play back podcasts. I don't know it with uh, G Potter, but I can tell you that it looks fine. Now, one thing I need to show you before I'll make that restart is comparison of Firefox performance. So let's head over to my blog here too. And then let's close the keyboards. You can see the displays are slightly different. Uh, now let's make try to make the brightness more similar. Uh, no. So and then scroll here. Um, Yeah, it's different. The speed is slightly different and well, this is a little bit shoppier and this on 11.5 it looks like totally smooth. I don't see any frame drops there. I, I bet some of you will, but yeah, I don't see any and I'm not sure whether this stupid uh, camera is actually recording at 60 hertz, so I don't know whether this is going to be useful at all yet. And now let's see how this applies an update. Boom, updates have been installed. Well, not quite. Oh, sorry, it's one, two, three, four only per default on Mobian. Yeah, so. Let's see which kernel we're running now. As you can see, Wi-Fi is again uh, not working after reboot, so I need to toggle that kill switch again to get it working. Uh, that looks like it went fine, and this is kernel 5.9, 11.5. So Postmark OS have moved on to 5.11, and I think PureOS actually has too, but uh, that's something I'm going to uh, look at next. So I may play with Postmarkers a little more this weekend uh, or during the next week. And then I will go back to PureOS for a while to finally uh, get some more use of this pre-installed operating system to then write a review I've promised to write years ago. 
uh, to be to get that task of my to-do list. There's one more thing I should do, right? Uh, I know that I, I'm going to get asked about this otherwise, so let me just call this number and see if that works. Okay, it's ringing. And now you can hear me. Let me hang up. This is fine. It works. So yeah. I think Mobian is a good option if you've got a Librem 5 and a board with PureOS. Um, it's not that different, it's just uh, running a slightly newer version of Debian. It has uh, GNOME software instead of the Pure Store, which is, well, arguably a down downgrade. Um, and it has many apps. Uh, the great thing about Mobian for me personally is um, their wiki, which you can find at wiki. Mobian dash project dot org. Um, which is fairly nice and explains many things that you can tweak. Uh, also, they've got a blog uh, and uh, metrics, IRC and tele telegram channels um, where people can help you. Um, so, yeah, and they've got this applications page uh, where they've listed quite a number of applications and uh, how you can install them on Mobian. So some of them are packaged up for Mobian. So here, like Corbert, I think the rating uh, is wrong by now, so it should be adjusted uh, because uh, Corbert really made some strides forwards, but I don't know which package <laughs> version is packaged on Mobian. So yeah. Um, this is definitely not Purism's version of Epiphany, by the way. This is terrible how it scrolls. Yeah. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Have a great time. Have a great week. And uh, yeah, come back to see more videos about Librem 5, Pinephone, and other videos soon. So. Bye bye. One more thing, I just installed Cobert here via the terminal. And yeah, here we go. Just wanted to demo this briefly. Of course, it's loading first, but this is my my uh, feed and I think this is uh, really working very well now, so I'm going to go to, go to the Mobian wiki and adjust the rating there. Yeah, so this is really a, quite a smooth Twitter client. It's great on the Pinephone too. But yeah, the additional power of the Librem 5 makes it really even better. So that's all. Bye bye.